Well, in any case, I did go to Iox at long last, and I ran into a crippling bug. I went up the stairs to talk to Miari, and suddenly Six vanished, and I heard nothing but waterfalls loudly in my right headphone. I was like, oh no, what's going on? And so I go and talk to Miari, and she wants to summon Six for something, and then because Six no longer existed in the world, the game froze. It allowed me to walk around her office, but I couldn't, I couldn't speak with her. I couldn't leave the room. So I was, I was stuck and I tried exiting to the menu and coming back. It was like, okay, well, the waterfall sounds have stopped, but I still can't leave this room. And then I closed out of the game and it said that my save file was corrupted and w started me at the very beginning. What? No, I can't possibly play all of this game all over again. I know that this, that's supposed to be the premise of the game, that you're supposed to go back through it again and again into the loop because you do bring over the knowledge that you acquired in the first game, the translations for words and stuff, and bring it into your next playthrough so that you learn more. But for the purposes of a Let's Play series, I did not want to have to do that again. Fortunately, I had a folder save file that I had saved externally to a folder that was just before the burning library, so I just had to go through that again, translate the book again, and yeah, so here I am. It does mean that I have seen a little bit more of the game than I would have prior, so things that I'm going to be encountering are not going to be necessarily a first time for me, but it does mean though that I'll have some insight as to what are the things that I should be doing to get the most out of the game, because what I discovered also is that I had chosen to go back to Iox or Elbereth, and I attempted to circumvent everything and go to Renaki again, but it wouldn't let me land. I really believe that there's a point in the game, and I am at that point, I believe, where you're only allowed to go to a handful of places. And for me, that's Iox, Elbereth, and the Unknown Ancient Site. And if you notice over here, the Unknown Ancient Site, it seems to have a trail that leads up to the Heaven's Vault. And so, if you're wondering why I'm going to be avoiding it, is because it, I mean, it pretty much leads to the end game. It's like the point of no return. And supposedly, a lot of players run into this site very early on, and they're essentially prevented from experiencing so much of the game because they get here first. That actually happened to me a long time ago. I think before. I encountered the Empress before I was able to deal with a mirror or something. I was able to come here and that, ah, no. So fortunately I had a save, was able to go back, but I want to experience as much of this game as I can in one go. I know it's impossible. There are so many branching paths, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to avoid the unknown site until the very bitter end if I can. It will mean that we'll probably be bouncing between Iox and Elbereth quite a bit because everything else is pretty much locked off to us. I, Unless I wanted to start sailing in here, which I just think is a bunch of branching paths, it's not really anything, we've pretty much explored the extent of the nebula. I mean, there are some things over here, but I don't believe there are any extra sites. This is, it's pretty much it. But at long last, we will return to Elbreth, or not Elbreth, Iox. I do feel bad that I haven't gone back to Iox in ages because there is so much that we could learn from Huang, especially in regards to these translations in books like these. But I had just been so apprehensive because of the whole Mayari business. But it looks like we'll finally go. This is it. Let's start sailing. I'll prepare the ropes, mistress. Okay. Yep. So there it is. Iox, Elbreth, and the Unknown Ancient Site. So we're going to be going back to Iox. She'll want to know what happened to Janiki. And then, of course, there's the crown. So let's sail. 
the waste. Sailing to Iox and Ioxian space via the Silk Pass. I could explore it. Uh, yeah, unless I go out here. Not really. They say on Iox that the rivers flow with the souls of the dead. Anything to scare you to the ground. Yeah, that is suspect how the Iraxians want to prohibit people from flying from one world to the next. There are unexplored waters to the left. Well, we'll go there then. Aha! We'll go there then. And I'll say, wrong turn! But I want to see what's out here. It's pretty. Icy, even. Just a bunch of cloud. Ooh. This is interesting. I always find this music quite calming. Just the strings in general. I was actually a violinist back in school. Used my great-great-grandfather's violin. Man, it must be about a hundred years old now. Stringy instruments do get better with age. I believe it's because of the, the wood. You get more resonance in older wood because less moisture. Oh. <laughs> I see, so it really just branched off that way. It was just a big loop. <gasps> ah, the loop. And it looks like I am given the option to pass the controls to six. I mean, much of this we've already explored, so sure, let's get there more swiftly. Take the tiller for me. And at last, we'll have returned to Iox. The University of Iox. We should tell the professor what happened to Renba. What do you think of the sculpture? It has a pleasing balance to it. Worth the time it took to make, do you think? When there are people on Elbrith who don't eat, are your own exploits worth the time they take, mistress? Should we not be making history rather than reviewing it? Be quiet, Six. Making history rather than reviewing it. That, that is an interesting bit of speculation. At the same time, with this society being what it is, the loop is so important, you would think that they'd definitely be concerned with history. I am sure the P Professor Miari will be most keen to see the crown mistress. It's quite a find. The original crown of the Emperors of Iox. Mary will probably put it on. A most interesting observation, mistress. Now, one thing I do notice, wasn't this the symbol for truth? It does look an awful lot like the sculpture over there, if you were to see it from a very specific angle, perhaps. I think that's what it might even be. Oh. It's like the tree on the lush moon. Indeed, mistress. I believe this one may be a clipping from that one. 
the tree of knowledge. Or so they call it. Each branch grows more branches. Except for the ones that die, fall off, and are forgotten. Which is where we come in, I suppose. I went outside the university grounds once, exploring. This is a very beautiful moon. You can tell it was once lush, fertile. There must have been huge forests, lakes, rivers. But they're all dry now. You've not been outside? No. So, this place had water as well. In copious quantities as well, but... Since it's dried, does that have to relate to the drying of the rivers, perhaps? Look at this place, Six. It looks modern, but it's ancient. Here and there, bits of the architecture go back thousands of years. Look at this thing, Six. Do you know it's the oldest thing on Iox? Or so they say. Evidently, it is said to be a sundial, mistress. An inscription. This is the start of a fragment of text. I suppose I didn't take a close look at this earlier. We have... All... Hmm, something about truth. Toward... Or no, follow. I've done something wrong. Oh, so you don't put all there. But probably the people follow the emperor. Still rings true. I can add my translation for follow to my dictionary now. All good and many. All good and many. Probably honest people follow the emperor? Or the rich people follow the emperor? This tends to stand for truth, though. So maybe honest. Honest people follow the Emperor. Honest people follow the Emperor. I think that's correct. I wonder if anyone knew that was there. The music suddenly stopped. It's just like the one in the garden. I believe that sundial to be significantly older than this one, Mistress. Furthermore, that one was not made on Iox. So where was that sundial made? An interesting question, mistress. I will consider the matter. Sundial removed from its original site? So, was the sundial based on that one, perhaps? A copy? It is quite possible. Was the sundial made here? Naturally, mistress. Curiously enough. Why is that curious? It seems to me the sundial could never have worked, mistress. At least, not in this location. I suppose no one knows this is a copy. Doesn't seem good enough for the mighty Iox. So whoever copied the garden sundial for the university, they didn't know what it was they were copying. They didn't know how it was supposed to work. That's almost funny. So much has been lost, mistress. It's ancient. Older than all the buildings here.
Did that give us an inkling for an even older site? Nah, it didn't. The Alvary should be up in her office. But I want to talk to Huang about the, the book. That should be insightful. That or there might be other things to look at around here. Because there are all these... Oh, look at all this water. I wonder if they trade with Elbereth for it? What does Elbereth even have of value? Aaliyah! Professor Mayari is looking for you. Hmm. Did she send you to fetch me? Of course not. You are not so very important. Good faith and good health, Aaliyah. Not so very important. I mean, perhaps the Ioxians look down on her because she is from Elbereth. It still begs the question of why of all the children, Mayari cho chose her specifically. Well, let's go see... Ah, the library. The library is a quiet spot to think. Except when Huang's in there. <gasps> which, of course, he always is. There's Huang. Oh, uh, Aaliyah. Six delivered your present. The old book. You liked it. It's incredible. The age of it. It's staggering. And it survived, what? A fire. At least one. Let's talk to him. Uh, listen, Huang. I've been finding some truly ancient sites. Places far out in the reaches that must have been once wealthy. Abandoned? They're all so old. Their wellsprings have dried up. They're uninhabitable now. Ox is old. They're always finding new layers to this place. Did you know that? Ox has been around forever. It all probably all started here. The future or the past? Both. That's why everyone wants to be on Iox. This is where you need to be when the loop closes. Have you ever heard of a place called Heaven's Vault? Of course. Heaven's Vault is a children's story. But I suppose parents don't tell it on Elbereth. And it isn't a place, exactly. Have you found any artifacts you want to look at? What story? It's about a boat that sails from a sinking island. But the boat gets hit by a storm, or sinks, or something. I can't remember it properly. Professor Mayari would know it, if you think it's important. What makes you say that? Well, Mayari's had children. A, a child, anyway. Didn't you know? Mayari has a child. Had. Oh. I suppose the professor doesn't talk about it much. After all, the girl died so long ago. How did she die? She was ill for when she was born. She lasted five years or so, maybe, but she was never going to really live. What's kind of ill? 
I have no idea. I'm sorry. It was long before my time, really. But that's what my mother has always said. Another thing. Do you know anything about... Oh, er... Hmm. I found something Renba discovered near Elbereth. Oh, yes. <laughs> you wouldn't believe if I told you. Try me. A ship. A really big ship. Underground. Underground? How did it get there? I have no idea. I also don't know how he found it. Wang. Do you think the robots know more than they say about the past? I'm sure they do. I think the robots can read ancient. Heaven's Vault, does it have another name? An ancient name. Oh, what's that? Uh, ancient is only a written language, Aaliyah. Uh, it can't be spoken. So you just know it as Heaven's Vault? Nothing else? Uh, maybe I have heard something. Now, where's that volume? Is this going to give us the ancient word for it? Here it is. Is that Mazwai? Of course it is. Mazwai has everything. Here. And the place beyond the edge of the world where the wrecks lie had a name. A curse. Wait, a curse word? And the name of the pit below the world's rim was Bo Cataliti Ifarali. Who knows, but maybe that's what it means. Ifarali? I think that's the ancient word for Hopper. Really? Maybe it had two meanings. Aaliyah, is everything all right? Ever since Renba disappeared, it's like you've been gone too. I have been gone for over a month. <laughs> I met Renba's ghost, Twang. In a cave. In a robot. It told me a great darkness is coming. And the last hope is this old stories in ancient book books but what good are stories i like stories but maybe you've read too many i was thinking do you know anything about an ancient observatory no i don't think so i brought you a book from a site i found It's an original copy of the Chronicles of Mazwai. Aaliyah! It's beautiful. Aaliyah, it's annotated. This is incredible. I'll have to... Let me know if you find anything. Uh, of course. Of course I will. But anything good recently? I've been indexing, mostly. How old are these books of yours? Some are really old. But not, you know, not ancient. They date back to the first empress or so.
Can I ask him about those things that I brought him, perhaps? Anything about the book? Maybe I have to come to and from the planet for him to look at things, kind of like with Aroy, how she'd have to prepare things. Ah, that's unfortunate, but at least we learned a word for the Heaven's Vault. But if the gate did take us there immediately, time to depart, mistress? <sighs> we have to talk to Miari. She will already be aware of our presence, I am sure. Was Huang right, Six? Can you read ancient script? No, mistress. Obviously not. But why can't you read script? Evidently, it is certainly true I am as old as most scripts we have found. But I remember nothing from before Master Runba activated it. I wonder if the knowledge of script is in there somewhere. I am sure I would know if that were true, mistress. I think perhaps the knowledge was erased before me and my kind were buried away. So the robots were wiped? Hey, these gates actually do resemble the hopper gates, but I don't seem to... Oh, and there's my Ari. I've dug in on scores of Moon Six. You know, I've never found robots buried on any of them. Only on Iox. What about the Wuthering Palace? I assume we were stored there, in case we were needed. But you don't know why you were activated. No, mistress. I am grateful. But so far my purpose is unclear to me. Aaliyah, get into- Oh, Aaliyah, get into my office this instant. Uh, professor, is that you? Get in here, or I'll tell the dockers to slash the ropes on your precious ship. Wait, what? She's- mm. Apologies for shouting, mistress. I must replicate tonal patterns when delivering messages. Do you think she would do it? Cut the nightingale adrift. She would like me to impress upon you the idea that she would. That's so cruel. It's with that ship that I was able to discover all this and possibly save the, the nebula. Uh, I don't really think they have a good working relationship or even a mother-daughter one if that is the case. Well then. Uh, Aaliyah, you're back. But I don't know if I want to ask what you found. Maybe you don't, Professor. It's not good news. I'm not a child. Just tell me what you saw. He's dead, Professor. His ship blew up as he tried to leave an off-river moon. Interesting. You're certain? <laughs> you can go and check if you want. The wreckage is still smoking. Did you go anywhere except Mayor Celia? Runba went exploring off the rivers. He was using fuel to propel himself. No doubt something went wrong and the ship blew up. No doubt. Runba appeared to be investigating an abandoned hermitage. And you followed him. What did you find there? Apart from smoke and wreckage. Someone had lived out there once. We found a ruined building. A hermit from Maesi, I think. Nothing more? 
Oh, one other thing happened. Go on. The hopper malfunctioned. And I spoke to Renba. I fear my mistress is now disassembling, Professor. Though to what end I slice it? I thought Renba was dead. He spoke to me through a robot somehow. And what did he have to say? He said you weren't what you claim. Or should I do that's all? He said you weren't what who you claim. And did that make any sense to you? Does it make sense to you? No. Poor Renba. He was never the most stable character. So, perhaps Renba found something and it shared his fate. Professor, I fear Mr. Salia is not being entirely honest. Fine, Six, I'll show her. You might want to sit down for this. This is what we found on that moon. Beautiful. Do you know what it is? I'm not certain, but... I think it's the crown of the last Emperor of Iox. He took it with him when he went into hiding, when Iox fell. Incredible. But shall I tell you what it really is? Oh, I know, I think. It's a device of some kind. My friend on Elbereth could have activated it. But she didn't? Six? She did not, Professor. If this is the Emperor's crown, Iox would never have parted with it. I can imagine you lifting this from the ashes of the Emperor himself, and yet Renba found him, a roboticist. I wonder how he did it. So? Is that it? What's the matter? It's an excellent find. You've done Iox proud. What about Renba? Renba didn't find this. You did. Aliyah, this is your moment. Off you go and enjoy it. Hmm. Professor, have you ever heard of anything about an ancient observatory? That's a curious question. I... Hmm. I found some kind of telescope fitting. On the moon where Renberg well. I wondered what it might mean. I've never heard of an observatory, but maybe Renba found something. Please, Aaliyah. Leave me to think, my dear. One last thing, Aaliyah. Tell me honestly. How are you finding your new companion? Are you working well together? say that. Six is petty, rule-bound, and a coward. Which is exactly what you need. Robots are valuable things, Aaliyah. I want to know immediately if anything happens to this one. I hope that's clear. I told you about the message Renba sent. I'm pretty sure it was six he was speaking through. I should think it was. Shall we leave now, mistress? 
There's still more to do here. Professor Miari used a word. Sleeset. What does it mean? Uh. Oh. <laughs> What's happened to Six? Has he been silenced? Six? His hand holograms are still working, but his head? I wonder if this will be useful later. Is this because I said Sleeset? It must be ancient. What's the matter, Six? There has to be a way to snap him out of it. He didn't also turn off like this before. Snap out of it! Mistress. What just happened? I am unsure what you're referring to, mistress. I said sleece it and you went quiet. Is that going to turn him off again? I just want to see. Uh. Oh! Of course. Poor, poor six. Oh, uh, don't start that again. Mistress. I wonder if I'd come back here sooner. If I could have learned that word from her and then used it to prevent him from seeing things. Maybe. I'm also glad that Aroy didn't activate the crown because if she had, Miari might have gone after her. Who knows? But yeah, I want to take a good look at this. Is this the symbol for truth? It looks a little jumbled, though. Uh, this is just... There's just water in abundance everywhere. I wonder if there's more to explore, if we can talk to Huang again. Or if we've expended what we can speak with him about now and we'll have to come back later. Yeah, it looks like we have. Well, looks like we might just have to bounce between Iox and Elbereth a number of times. This will be interesting. So yeah, we are forced to tell Mayari about the crown because Six would have outed us either way. Olia, a uh, good faith to you. Now there is this lower chamber down here. I don't think we've come this way. There are a number of doors, a number of people. If this is university, what are the other subjects that they specifically look at? Oh, there's an alcove over here. I haven't seen any writing, say, on the walls, or... Is this a hopper? I just don't see a lens anywhere. Unless... No, we docked here. It's interesting, though, because that means that the Elvarethians use a gate more often than the Ioxians would. But yes, how many memories does it shave off? These are just interesting terraces all over. Ah, oh, there seems to be so much more, but maybe there was a 
a back entrance or a door that we can't get to. Well, six, I suppose we'll have to go and come back. see what we have. Return to the ship. Let's get off this rock. This way, mistress. And so we left the university. And without the crown. Mm. Though I wonder if Mayari will impart with us what it is and what it does, or she's keeping it all a secret. Yep, there's the crown is gone. The statue is gone. At this point, we only have the tile, don't we? Mistress, do we have anything from our adventures? Not at this rate. We have the brooch still. It's over there. Let's take to the river. I will ready the tackle, mistress. Now, on Elbereth, we could try the gate word. But if it's supposed to take us to the Heaven's Vault directly, then... Ah, then it would be game over. I'm sure of it. So I think we'll just go to Elbereth and see if maybe there's anything else that Toppy or Tamor or anyone else could say.